to move in the spirit speak lord speak speak lord speak share your heart let us know your will jesus lord speak Show us your way. Speak, Lord. Show us your will. We must know what God is speaking. We must know what He is feeling. In order for us to move. To move in the spirit, speak, Lord, speak, Lord, speak in the spirit, Jesus, hold on us. We must know your heart in order for us to move. Show us your will, speak, Lord, speak to our heart. We must know what you're saying, Lord, in order for us to move, speak. to our hearts uncover your will tonight Lord hallelujah Jesus speak Jesus speak show us your way Lord ora shandale le bossi Kondala na mokosi Ora ma shanda la bossa Ora si ande bossa Oh Jesus ora ma Speak Lord Speak to our hearts Speak
Holy One, the creator of all things, God of this universe, Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and you are the end. You are Lord, the Lord of all things. We admonish your will, we admonish your way, God. The Moshiach Makaya. We come in full agreement. Rosota la Bakaya. Hearts, mind, our soul. Come in full agreement to what you're speaking in this hour, Jesus. Father, I ask that you would cleanse. Cleanse, Father. Purge. Purify. Hearts, minds, and soul. God, go deep. Father, we know that in the midst of trouble and, and in the midst of trials, God, you always have a plan and there is a will and there's a way, God. Father, you're always up to something and God, we know that is very vital that we as your people will position ourselves for you to move, Father. Not the way we desire for you to move, but Father, according to your will. Father, so right now, we as a, this house, your people that are called by your name, Father, right now we position ourselves to hear you. We position our minds, we position our hearts, we position our soul, oh God, to hear you. Father, right now, some of us need to repent and release people and things hurt anger and situations for father we understand that though are those are the some of the things that god that blocks your voice so father right now in this moment in this time right here we repent father we ask for forgiveness we ask oh god that you forgive us for everything that we've said or done wrong if we have fallen short of your word, of, of your will, or any kind of way, God, we know that it's vital for us to be positioned properly to even pray to get to heaven. So, Father, right now we release everything that so easily besets us because it's vital in this vital hour that our spirits are positioned to call upon you, God. For your word tells us that anybody that calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But your word also tells us that you hear the cry of the righteous, O oh God. That your ear is in tune to the cry of your people, God. And Father, we know in order for us to be your people, we have to be your people in heart. We have to be your people in mind, soul, and spirit. So right now, God, we know that because of the things that are before us, O oh God, it's vitally, it's very important that we cleanse and get our hearts right, oh God, so that we can be positioned to speak, decree, and declare. So right now, oh God, Father, in this place, we release everything, God. We release everything, oh God, that will hinder our prayer. But we understand, God, that it is not worth, oh God, not being able to get to you by holding anger and bitterness and frustration and all those things, oh God. So we release it, oh God. For we know that it's vital because of the things that so, so before us, oh God, that you've allowed to come up in this hour. You've allowed to uncover and unveil the things, oh God. So we know that God, because God, you've allowed this to happen in our midst. It is vital that we, your people who are called to pray and to speak and declare, must have our hearts right. So right now on this holy altar, in this place, we release, oh God, out of our soul, out of our spirit, out of our mind, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we release it, we release them, we release everything, oh God, tonight. We release it, go God in Jesus' name. Right here, in order to have faith, oh God, real faith that stands and that will not waver, God, we have to have our heart right. Our minds must be right that we will not be shaken and moved. 
about the things that you've allowed to come up because God you are in control of all things you know all things oh God so father we give you praise right now God for our forgiveness father has given us the opportunity to even release and be able to pray on behalf of so many people oh God in the name of Jesus, we give you praise right now, God. Now, Father, I ask that you will anoint us corporately. Father, I ask that you will anoint the intercessors, the prayer warriors, every leader in this house, anoint us corporately, oh God. That we will hear in the spirit, move in the spirit, oh God. We know that when we repent and release everything, we can hear clearly and properly in the name of Jesus. So, Father, I pray that you will strengthen every leader in this house. I pray that you will strengthen every intercessor in this house. I pray that you will, will, will strengthen every ministerial call, everybody, lay member, God, in this house, because we know that this is a time of prayer and we must keep our eyes fashioned on you in the name of Jesus uh, father that we will stay in the spirit uh, for father you said that those who walk according to the spirit are the sons of God so father right now I thank you for our flesh being crucified and we nail it on the altar in the name of Jesus uh, father I ask that you will anoint the intercessors that they will pray without cease the prayer warriors that they war without ceasing oh God uh, every leader God every called person God that we will pray without ceasing in the name of Jesus so father I come against the spirit of fear right now that has been released in this atmosphere I rebuke the power of fear and intimidation sickness and disease cannot intimidate the spirit of God so father right now we remove all flesh out of this house in the name of Jesus and father right now God you gave us instruction before this time you said our strategy is praise you said our strategy is prayer so father we will remain prayerful we will remain in praise in the name of Jesus and we will watch you I rebuke every plan of the enemy in the name of Jesus for we know that our fight is not against flesh and blood but it's against principalities powers rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places and father you took care of them on Calvary you abolished them on Calvary when you died for this purpose, oh God, we stand in your risen power, your resurrected power. We stand in power of the Holy Ghost. We stand erected in Jesus' name, and we will not be moved in the name of Jesus. Sickness and disease, you must bow to the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. Oh God, every mental and emotional condition, you must bow in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. Every power of weakness witchcraft satanism you must bow in the name of jesus every power that is warring against this house you must bow in the name of jesus and father right now we send forth a praise you said if judah would praise you said to send the praise first we send a praise judah must praise in this hour in the name of jesus we will not get weary in our well-doing you said Lord we will reap if we do not faint I rebuke every spirit that has come to try to make us faint in this hour the devil is a liar the devil is a liar in the name of Jesus oh God I give you praise right now but you are not a God that you will lie you are not a God father you said it you'll do it you send your word God and it will accomplish the things that you set it out to do now father I pray that you you send your word you will release your word in the name of Jesus according to your will God speak to the minds of the people Speak to the heart of your people. Speak to the soul of your people in the name of Jesus. For there's power in the name of Jesus. You gave us that praise. You gave us that praise that there's power in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you for your strength that I feel it now. He feel the strength of God in this house 
in the name of Jesus. I give you praise. I give you honor, oh God. I give you glory, hallelujah, to the Lamb. That we will praise. Come on, praise team. That we will praise Him. We preached it, now we got to live it. We prayed it, now we got to believe it. God spoke over it, now we got to stand in it. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The devil is a liar. This is not a time to be faint. I am not moved by sickness or disease. I am not moved by the attack on my husband. Hallelujah, because I know that God is in control. Oh, glory to the Lamb of God. And we got to praise God. The devil is a liar. We will not mourn. The devil is a liar. We got to send the praises up and create an atmosphere for God to move, for God to speak, for God to heal, and for God to deliver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on up in your mouth, Judah. Come on up, Osa. Come on up in your mouth, Judah. I want my flesh to be crucified in my trial and my tribulation. I want you to cut it. Whatever's in me, use this situation to deal with me, God. Hallelujah. So I look to be increased as I decrease. Hallelujah. So I'm excited about what God is about to do in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up your mouth.
called to lift God's name there are some that God allows to go through just to show people that he is good on the inside on the inside on the inside one of the things that is I was going through this week the Lord spoke to me he said I've called you to praise my name he said, I've called you to go through in front of the people and lift me up. Lift me up and lift me up. And lift me up. No matter what. No matter what. Just lift me up. Just lift me up. No matter what. No matter what. Just lift me up. Just lift me up. No matter what. No matter what. So as I was sitting in my bed and I said, God, I want to know what you want me to do. He said, bless my name. He said, go and look at the people and tell them, say, regardless of anything, I've called you to praise and lift me up. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so as I said, yes, Lord, and then he began to tell me, he said, I've called you to go through yes. in front of them all. Yes. Go through with a praise. Go through in spite of it all with a praise. My bed, and I felt the Holy Ghost quicken me. Uh -huh. The He quickened me in the midnight hour. Oh, yeah. And He put a praise in my spirit. Then I felt another strength that I didn't have. Yeah. See, when God, 
allow you to go through something. Yeah. And then if you're going through for the people, yeah. there's an anointing that will come on you in yeah. spite of it all. He said, I want you to lift me up. Whoa. And it doesn't matter what happened. Yeah. Oh. I know God is good. the joy that came yeah. and that's so supernatural Smack. Yeah. he gave me a joy on the inside oh. yeah. and then I couldn't wait to come to the house uh-huh. and tell you all that yeah. God is good, God is good. On the is how you connect on the inside oh. and then he began to tell me about the things that you must endure yeah. for my sake and then I began to feel an honor I was like wow you called me to go through yeah. and you wanted to anoint me in front of the people to go through Jesus. Yeah. and so I got encouraged even more I couldn't wait till they get to the house to tell you all is well. All is well. All is well. No matter what. No matter what. All is well. All is well. No matter what. No matter what. He said the instruction for this house is to praise God. Hallelujah. And to know how to pray. And know how to stand. Yeah. Hallelujah. People that don't have faith reach out and try to fight and go in. I don't do that. Uh-huh. I listen for instruction. Yeah. Doesn't matter how hard it is. Yeah. I listen for instruction. Yeah. Hallelujah. To see what he wants to do. Because in all, in this, in this, there's an increase for all of us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is an increase for everyone. Everyone that's connected to me and my husband in this house. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you connect with the will of God and you pray according to God's will, you'll be increased. I guarantee you. Yeah. Because I already feel it Woo. on the inside of me. Oh. Hallelujah. And I'm very excited about this season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And most important. God did not mislead us. He brought us in the middle of it all. He gave us instruction. And then two months ago, I began to feel like I was preaching my trial that was coming. I was standing up here and I was preaching. I said, this is for me. I said, I'm about to go through something. Hallelujah. So that's why I began to preach like a mad woman. Because I knew God was doing something on the inside of me. But you got to know what your portion is. You got to know what your portion is in prayer. Your position in this situation. You got to hear it. And if you don't know what to do, follow. Follow the leader. It's very vital that the leaders are hearing God. Very vital in the season that leaders are hearing God and moving in the spirit. Because one off prayer will offset the whole house. One off word will offset this house. So in this season, I'm watching, I'm listening. Because we have to pray right. We have to sense right. Hallelujah. And it's not a tough one. I will bless your name. I will bless 
Lord, anoint me. Come on, lift those hands and say, God, and mean it. Say, God, anoint me. Give me what I need right here. Right here, right now. In this, this season, say, God, anoint me to live. In the spirit. Come on, say, God, anoint me to live. When you ask him, the Bible says, he will give. Hallelujah. Ask, knock, seek. Hallelujah. You'll find him. When you're positioned right. Hallelujah. Father, I give you praise for anointing this house. Yes, Lord. Anointing us, your people. Hallelujah. For everything that we're going through, God, whatever it is, God, I thank you that you're in control of it. I thank you that you are the way. You are the truth. You are the life. God is in you. Everything is in you. I give you praise for this, this increase. I sense it. I feel it. I give you praise right now, God, that we're going up together as one voice and one people, one house. Hallelujah. God, I thank you that there will not be one loss. Not a one. We will not be misled. We silence every voice contrary to the voice of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for speaking. We thank you for ruling and we thank you for reigning. In Jesus' name, come and open your mouth and give God a praise.
happy amount to just give God the praise in this place. Bless the name of the Lord. 